Good morning. This is Val. This is how you do it. And first of all, I'd like to thank all of you for your birthday wishes. It's really nice to, to see so many uh, birthday wishes on Facebook. And um, I just want to know I appreciate it. But for right now, I'm going to get ready for the rest of my day. And I'm going to uh, lay down my edges with an alcohol-free gel. And then see what develops with my hair. There's no plan when I come on on what I'm going to do or how I'm going to fix it. Sometimes I just go by moods, you know. I'm just like a little girl playing, and, playing at the little desk, playing in makeup and playing with hair. And I just go with what I feel. And so, I know sometimes it look like when people come on Facebook, they have... On that Facebook, but uh, YouTube, when they're doing their videos, I'll be like, golly, they're so organized. They have stuff so well planned out. When they first come on, it just looks, mm, looks really good. It looks professional. But I'm just going to do what I do and see what develops. Okay, today's my birthday, and I'm going to. I'm already enjoying it actually. It's already started out to be a great day, you know? My day has been started. I'm actually doing my hair a little later than usual. <laughs> it's midday, it's after 10. I've been using did my hair by 5 o'clock. But before any well wishes come in person, I'm going to get myself together. Like I say, everybody went back to work today and to school unless they had a job where they had time built up and they can take off for the holidays. I know I was playing with my jury um, the last couple of days, putting it all in my hair. And I said, I bet y'all got used to that. You probably can't wait to see what I'm going to do for my birthday. I don't have any plans for any. Unless I look in there and see something, I say, oh, that'll be cute. <laughs> Just for camera's sake. I wouldn't want people to come over and think Byron and lost David what little senses she got. <laughs> I may do something for y'all today. Something different. Something that probably every girl has in her uh, costume jewelry uh, box. Let me put it in my hair and see what happens. Yeah. First of all, I gotta get this comp this tame. Hmm. I tame it, y'all. You know, have you ever noticed when it seems like you have to do something or or something halfway important is going on? Think your hair don't act right, or your makeup don't act right, your lashes don't act right. Something just seems like it don't want to do like it want to do, huh? Well, but we can't let let that defeat us today. I'm feeling my hair. Trying to make sure it's well lubricated. Is it lubricated? Is that the word? Hmm. I don't know. Got the gel on it. But I'm not really liking my my results. I'm going to close that and put that to the side. Let me put some more in it. Because, you know, this is not a wash and go. And so the hair is not wet. Maybe that's why I'm not getting the results that I want because the hair is dry. But sometimes I do pretty good on dry hair. You've seen me.
see what it looks like. See if that's enough water. I think I got too much gel on this. That's why I keep messing with this part. Before I even start um, going on YouTube, I used to play the, um, I don't play them as much now, but the games on Facebook, you know, like Farmville and um, all those games. And a lot of people that I used to play with for years been been writing me all day, wish, giving me well wishes. And it was so nice to see that. People that I never met, but you know, I played games with them on, on Facebook. And I thought that was sweet. Because, you know, they didn't have to take the time out their busy day to acknowledge me. And I appreciate that. I think it's really nice. You never know what kind of word just make a person's day. And see, I don't have a whole lot of people like girlfriends and things of that nature running in and out my house so it's nice to know that somebody's thinking about you you know I was never the girlfriend type it wasn't because I wasn't friendly but I don't think people really want to hang out with me hmm. now this is something that you think like I said something that y'all we all have nope not that it was pretty though wasn't it <laughs> it's just me playing with things you know uh, like I said you can take your take what you have and that you've had for a long time and just play around with it and then you have this what different look you know well because some of this stuff is old stuff I probably you know and I grew anyway and it starts to collect I'm looking in my drawers right now but now you should have already had that stuff together I told you sometimes I feel so uh, disorganized you know I'm gonna I'm hold that piece and see if uh that might be the piece, huh? Let me try something. Just a thought, y'all. Hmm. Like I say, I'm just playing. I'm really an artist. I see stuff that other people don't see. But, um... I see stuff that, um... Sometimes other people think it's strange and they don't really um I'll be saying like go with it go with it I mean get used to it for a minute before you did well, before you turn it down <laughs> yeah you know you never know because just just hang in there with me for a while you'll see you'll see what I'm trying to do
think that should come down a tad. This one should. You know I do have on the black outfit. And I didn't want to disappoint my fans. Because I know I said I was going to do three days of me. And I had been putting hairdresses on my hair every day. Still not finished um, styling my hair. You gotta be willing to play with things sometime. A simple headdress. I know we love to play with scarves, you know. But I think I came further down the, the beach than Africa, further toward Egypt. Um, and some black earrings. I'm telling my ancestors. That's the ring. Like that's an that's an Egyptian style ring or an African ring. They are both close to each other. It's a black little earring. If you can't see it. I'm still looking at my hair too. Like I say, this is my day. And I choose to play my day the way I want to. Sometimes when we grow up, we give up so much of ourselves. You know? I don't know. Just the other one. I'm still not finished with my hair. I was just playing around with some jewelry because I, I thought about, you know, I did all of that leading up to my birthday. I wore the crown, then the red um, bubble jewelry on my hair. And so today, this is a shell, a beach shell. It's made like um, it's got a little ivory tone to it, like crushed white pearls, things like that. I don't know if it shows up that good on camera, but it's got a white pearl thing going across the top of it. Like I 
just say when I come on, I don't have my routine plan. I go with what I feel. And usually that works for me. I'm a kind of a mood person. I'm a Capricorn. I like Capricorns. They seem to get along with everybody, even the most difficult people. I seem to be attracted to Leos. Strong, powerful people. Strong willed. Mm, yeah. They are difficult people to deal with to, with others, but they seem to be drawn to me and I to them. And I have a common effect on that strong-willed person. And I'm drawn to their power. I think I want a deeper red lipstick. Looking at my drawers. You can say, how many drawers you got? I almost squeezed myself trying to get in that one. Doesn't look red on, on camera. Don't look red enough. But you know what? They say the camera don't lie. I believe it do. Because sometimes I look at it. And when I turn around, my back of my head and neck look so fat. I say, now nah, I know. Mm -mm. <laughs> say, check yourself, girl. It may be true, huh? It's red, y'all. It's really my signature lipstick, red. It does so much for my features. You probably can't see how much it does. Maybe one day I get this nice looking camera set. So when I put on my makeup, you can actually see what's going on with me. Because I do quite a bit to my eyes. And it doesn't show up on camera as, as, as well as it does in person. I'm going to drink a lot of champagne today. Once I get to talking to you, I'm going to go in there and pop a bottle. And then it'll be like an all-day thing for me. I don't really get drunk. I feel good, but I I'm I got, I guess I was going to say too old to be running around here drunk. Because I can handle my liquor now. I've gotten older. I don't get drunk. I'm one of the people that can cook and drink at, at the same time. Have a fabulous meal going, feeding and entertaining. Never miss a step. <laughs> I don't even know what else to do. I'm still talking to y'all, and I need to get on up from here and start my day. What y'all think? Did the fifth generation do real good? Yeah. You may say, Val, what you mean fifth generation? I'm the fifth generation of this little this young lady that was brought over here from Egypt. Hung upside down in the well until she submitted. And that's how she started having children. But I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.